We got a problem. The world's population is growing too fast and there's not enough clean water for everybody. In the last hundred years, global water usage has increased at twice the rate of population growth. Municipalities lose as much as 50% of their water supply through leaky infrastructure. And one in five people can't get access to clean, safe drinking water. In fact, the UN predicts that nearly half the world will experience critical water shortages by the year 2080. And that's a problem, but we've got a solution. We're going to show you what it is, then Madman John's going to jump in Lake Champlain. So we got a problem, and you know me, when I got a problem, I find a smart guy. Once again, John Cohn, IBM fellow, mad scientist, superhero, and world champion Zamboni driver. John, we're here at Echo in Burlington, Vermont, to talk about water. As you know, water's under attack. What's IBM doing to help it? Well, Tim, we're using information technology to try to make water smarter. What we're doing is we're putting sensor networks in everything from the tiniest tributary through the biggest lake, like Lake Champlain, all the way down through the pipes and even the taps that go into your house. All right, so how does a system like this work? One of the best examples is the RION project. That's a River Estuary Observatory Network that IBM is doing with Clarkson University and the Beacon Institute. And what we're doing is we're putting sensor networks all up and down all 315 miles of the Hudson River, which will measure the temperature, the pH, the speed of the water. Self-esteem? Of course. And with all of that, we get a really good model of the health of that river. All right. And, and how do you apply this information to the bigger water problem? Well, with that big model that we're building, Tim, we'll be able to look at scenarios in terms of water usage, in terms of runoff, and we'll be able to understand the impact of all of those factors on the, the health of that river, the, the animal life, the plant life, and the water quality of the communities that drink from it. All right, so this measurement and intelligence intrigues me. Can you show me more? Be happy to. Come on. Yeah, let's get out of here. These fish are scaring me. So, Tim, this is where the process of making the water smarter actually starts. There's literally hundreds of small stations like this where we have a probe at the end of this pipe. So this particular system right here is used to measure storm surge in this small tributary. And what we need to do is we need to measure some of the dissolved solids, like the turbidity and the pH. And some of the material that's coming in here, we'd actually be able to measure down on the Hudson at the Rion project. And we'd bring it all together on a screen like that to see it. And we're only a mile from the nearest Applebee's. So Tim, this is where the whole process gets smarter. We're in the Champlain Water District Control Center and information from the sensor, like the one we saw, yeah. and many, many others is pulled together to manage the water quality for the district. And by putting the right analytics on this, we can make some very informed choices about the way we treat that water. For example, this measurement right here shows the water temperature versus the depth near the big inlets that are out in the lake. One thing that's kind of cool is if you actually see these humps, that's actually part of a long three-day wave called a sage. That a sage? By knowing information like that, they can make decisions about water treatment that delivers the highest water quality in the most economical way. Sage? Sage. Isn't that a cheese? Tim, this is what it's all about. Beautiful Lake Champlain. And you know, to think that we're using data and information to make the lake cleaner. I just love that. You could have told me that on the shore. It's December, it's 27 degrees out and it's snowing. What yeah. are we doing out here? Well, actually, I dropped my wallet in the lake here in 1997. And I was gonna go take a look. What? Okay, see you around. Yeah!